What's up, trashers? Um, it's like three o'clock. Got home somewhere after ten. Had to go to sleep, obviously, because I worked last night. But uh, we got all that tile. I actually turned some down. I turned some uh, linoleum down. It really shouldn't have. But sometimes you gotta know. to stop not necessarily stop but I just there were 12 foot rolls of linoleum and I know I'm gonna be able to sell them so that's not a problem at all but it's 12 foot rolls of linoleum and like they wouldn't fit in the back of the box truck just laying in there like 12 foot was that far out of the door and we talked about just shoving it in there, pulling the door down. But then my luck, it would all fell out. And I didn't really want to hand load it. Being that I just got off work and how early it was, it just wasn't something that was in my cards. But some guy, some guy showed up there and he got it. So it didn't go in the trash and that's good. It wasn't like there was anything significant like they weren't super big rolls i looked at a few of them they were like 12 foot by like 40 feet that would have been good to have but like i said i don't have anywhere to really store it and that crap's kind of a monster the bigger it gets to deal with but here's what it is uh i did however get a bunch of sick tile like a bunch of project stuff i could potentially sell it on Etsy by the piece probably I'm sure I'm, I'm almost certain somebody would buy it like that <clears throat> maybe I don't know I haven't got that far yet about to go out of town tomorrow morning when I get off work so this really isn't a priority but he said he wanted this stuff gone by the weekend so I had to jump on it I did however get a roll of, a roll of carpet <clears throat> we had talked about doing carpet or giving me some carpet or whatever but kind of like the linoleum that stuff that stuff's heavier than linoleum and being 20 20 feet some of them or 12 foot it's just such a monster to deal with by yourself so i told him i'd be interested if he's got some but not all of it so i didn't have to deal with it so we kind of went over there and he showed me the rack <clears throat> and i found a roll that was big enough to do like two of the rooms in my house because I wanted to do the kids room and the playroom and like redo them and he hooked me up with some pretty sick carpets so that's a plus side now you may be asking why I'm talking to you all sexy like up here well you can't tell we're up here but we're up here I'm sitting on top of the box truck I'm standing on the hood or the roof <laughs> with a caulk gun because I don't tell my uncle this we have a leak or we had a leak one of these everywhere i've been watching this thing and it finally rained real good and uh everywhere on this thing seems solid no problems but one area and i knew it was gonna freaking do it i even tried to seal it apparently the stuff i used wasn't worth a flop that's before i got this stuff and uh yeah it's uh stuff chased threads as my uncle would call it and it did it didn't mess anything up it dripped right here in the very front which i mean it dripped on some unfinished wood but i don't think anybody's gonna want that anyway i'm gonna use it for a project i have in mind but other than that that's what we got going on i'm uh i'm gonna finish this up then i gotta start cooking dinner because i gotta go to work here in a little bit but we're going on this trip here tomorrow obviously i'm gonna bring you guys with me they want me to record where we're going people want me to record and kind of like make them a video i guess so that's gonna be cool we'll see how that works they might not like the bearded one style see you guys later just got a tornado warning on my phone Looking pretty rough right there, boys. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm 
sure that footage was crap. But, just in case you saw what I saw, really isn't anything in that dumpster. Uh, I got an oven, pretty heavy, piece of scrap, whatever. But if you looked and saw like a bulldozer coming down the road, and a truck behind it, that's the town. Now, it's really not a problem and I really don't care, they can suck it. But, but, <laughs> town kind of frowns on dumpster diving and I've known a few people that actually get fined a crappy amount of money for dumpster diving. Now, I've got permission to be there and do that. It's no problem. But, I was also given permission to do it while the store is open. <laughs> to prevent me from getting a ticket or anything like that. So, with that being said, as soon as I saw them, I decided to just kinda bounce. That way they don't get my tag number and they don't see me, really. Just kinda get out of eyesight. It's only a problem if you get caught, so don't get caught. without looking in the trash. We're going cans. Hmm. Sick pair of spares. Never be broke living on the beach. All these cans and the scrap on the beach, dude. You could kill. Alright guys, that's probably going to be it. Uh, I've probably sprinkled a little footage of our trip in here. Uh, didn't do much. Tell you what though, every time we go down there, I talked about it last year, there is hordes of scrap. Uh, we came across one, kind of looks like Tucker stuff, where I guess a wealthy-ish family comes in for the summer or whatever and then leaves. Bicycles, like expensive looking bicycles. Uh, Lamps, furniture, all kind of good stuff. I might take my truck next year and go all through that. I hear you. Cat apparently missed us. But that's what we had going on. Didn't get into much. Just had fun, hung out, and did the thing. <clears throat> uh, no idea what we're doing next week. We're just winging it. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, or don't.